In this video, we are going to look into some of the techniques in Algo through which we can enhance a low quality image into a high resolution image. The process is called super resolution. So we are going to look into some of the pre-trained models which are already available so that we can just plug and play. So before going further, first we are going to set up the environment. The basic library that we are going to use for this setup is OpenCV. Now, the OpenCV contains a lot of algorithm, but some of the algorithms are not just readily available. So you need to install another package, which is called as OpenCV country Python. So you can just use the pet package like this, like you can just do a pip install OpenCV country python and just do upgrade, it will install the latest release. So for this video, we are using like CV version 4.6.0 as mentioned here. So just keep in note that uh, you need version greater than 4.3 in order for this functionality to work. Now, uh, first we are going to mount the Google Drive and the reason we are mounting that is we need to download some data set from Kaggle. And Kaggle allow us to download data set by using a authentication JSON. I have my authentication JSON which is stored into Google Drive. So first I need to mount the Google Drive and I'm going to copy that authentication JSON to local and then uh, after it has been copied I'm just going to query Kaggle dataset download and this dataset I'm going to download and once it, it is downloaded I'm just going to extract that so now uh, let's let me show you which dataset I'm talking about so did the data set name is another name face data set. You can use any data set. This contains any images of faces. So it, it is about 2 GB in size. It has been mentioned here roughly around. So you have a lot of files to play around with. Now, uh, once the data is downloaded, I'm just, uh, you know, iterating through each and every file. And we know that we have roughly around 92,000 files. Now, uh, let's do one thing. Uh, we're just going to use like OpenCV function, uh, which is CV2, I am sure. And first, what we are going to do is we are going to read some random file from these 90,000 images and just going to plot that. So, as you can see, we are plotting up one image, which we are going to use as a reference image for this experiment. And this is how it looks like. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to down sample this image, this image, high definition image, into a low definition image. And this is a separator. This is high def, this is low def. So, how we are going to do that is we have read the image here we can use the resize function of OpenCV and just pass like how much scale down on a scale of 0 to 1 we want our image to be so we said we want it to be 30% of the original image so here scale has been passed to the CV resize and it will resize this image to 30% obviously when we are resizing an image its pixel will go away that's why it's a low definition image and if, if we zoom that low definition image it will look pixelated like it has been looked here right so next what we are going to do so next what we are going to do is we are going to download some of the pre-trained models so pre-trained models are like this so we are going to use four models edsr espcn srcnn lab srn and these models are already available we're just going to download these models so let me just open one of the model file like and explain what's happening here so we are using a esp 
PCN. So it basically allows us to specify the resolution that we want to choose. Now, in each of the model repo, you will encounter something like this. So two means it this model is going to double the original image pixels this is going to thrice and this is going to four times so depending on how much resolution you want output resolution you want you are going to use that model size so if you want the output image to be four times the original image you are going to use multiply by four to pb and this is the similar thing which you are going to observe with other available models like we are using a enhancement of four in each of the models so that's why it is a multiplier by four here as you can see each of them one of them so we have downloaded the models and we have saved all the models into this directory pre-trained models so this is espcn times four something like that and all the models are here right so as you can see the all the models are here so now this part is important so after we have downloaded the models what we are going to do so what we are going to do is we are going to use opencv function dnn underscore super resolution dnn super this one this is a common function for each and every model that we are going to use so first what we are going to do is we are going to create an empty object which is here then you are going to read the model the file model the file path contains location of these files and then you are going to specify that okay you are using EDS, SR, ESPCN or which model you are using you need to tell it okay and then you are going to specify what scale does it support so when you are, path, when you are using this we are saying okay we are passing the argument like original image which is a downsized image the model file that we are going to use the model name and the scaling factor which has been passed here so once your model is loaded you're just going to call the up sample function and you pass the like smallest resolution file and it will give you the upscale file so here if you can see we have just plot the shape that each upscale shape looks like 256 by 3 256 by 3 as you can see here whereas the original image which is img was of the same resolution but the times down sampled file on which we have run the enhancement is roughly around 64 all right so now let's just go downstairs so we have loaded the models but we need to plot them also for plotting we're just going to use one thing we are going to uh, just use the image grid okay i'm not going to explain it further but we are just creating an image grid of one row and the number of images which is like six here so it's a one by six matrix that we are creating and in each matrix we are going to pass first column will contain the original image the second will contain the downsize image the and then the scale image has been predicted by each and every model right and then we are going to plot each of the images and now let's look at the results so uh, this is how our results look like so now some interesting things to note here is the original image is sharp right the down sampled image on which our models have run as you can see is pixelated but if you see the output of each and every model you can see that edsr is outperforming every other model at least on this image where other models are trying are better than down sample but they are not as close to original as EDSR. So this is a little comparison between each and every model. Uh, right now we are only showing four models. 
and we are just loading this model into OpenCV and then just simply we are passing some random image and it will give us output a high resolution image. Now we have used for model but uh, the description or details of each model is currently out of scope of this video. I am going to cover each topic separately in our research paper series. So each uh, for each model I am going to cover a video in which I am going to detail out like what exactly happening there, what is the architecture, what changes have been proposed. And if you want to have a quick glance at everything, you can just follow these small notes and you can just uh, point to the paper which is mentioned in the link here that will give you a roughly good idea till the point the research series are available.